What's good? What's good? Welcome to the Epic Entertainment Critics. I'm Antoine. And I'm still James. And we are getting close to the release of The Batman. <laughs> yeah, you know, The Batman's coming out next week, next Friday. And uh, they're releasing little uh, TV spots and um, little uh, trailers and things that uh, just all the little. At first, I was like, man, they release it too much. And then I saw the movie like three hours. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, so this ain't, we ain't nothing. Seen nothing. <laughs> we ain't seen nothing. <laughs> so much stuff left. This, this ain't like when you get like five different trailers of a like hour, 45 minute movie. Yeah, right. Yeah. With all the stuff in the trailer. All right. No, it's a lot of stuff to tell. We've got three hours. Yep. Be comfortable. <laughs> Go to the bathroom. Don't don't have to go to work that day, yeah, man. And Look, bring you something to eat. Get you a nap before the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Stay caffeinated. Yeah. So they got a little trailer or a little TV spot called Batman Get Electrocuted. Now, from to my understanding, they was kind of gonna show things these bat suits. The bat yeah. suit he had on, what is all good for, or something yeah. like that, or or what's the limitations of the bat suit, or something like yeah, that. Like uh, talking about like the mobility. He he has wearing it and stuff like that, which mm-hmm. I understand. Like talking to the other actors who played Batman, he like he championed like, look, I need to be able to move in this thing. Right, right. So uh, let's watch this. Uh, let's watch this trailer, and then we're gonna uh, or this little TV spot. It's more, more like a featurette. Featurette. And yeah. we'll talk a little bit about what we see here. So uh, Batman gets electrocuted. So let's see how that works. <laughs> <laughs> First time I put on this bat suit, there's so much more maneuverability. So 90 Gs. You could yeah. actually jump around, you could crash into stuff. The suit does not make him invincible. It's just a few panels of bulletproof armor. And the rest of it is how much Bruce believes in it and how much his adversaries are scared of it. I like the handmade nature of everything, but you can see the construction. It's an element of showing how to do it yourself, his version of Batman is. His tactical knife is actually stored as part of his chest plate and is actually his bat logo. Even the Batmobile looks like something he's built himself in his basement. Obviously, it looks pretty cool. Okay, so we had a little featurette and yeah. then a couple of little TV spots yeah. from different countries. So I did not realize that thing was a knife. Yeah, I didn't either. That's, what you think? Um, it's different. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I like it. Um, It'll catch me off guard. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, it looks like it's just part of the armor. Yeah, you know, so, so. Uh, at that point where they said Batman got electrocuted, did was that he? Was je- like, f- was it electrocute? Was it a um, the wire electrocuting him and he just cut the wire? I don't know if, if it Kind of like how. Uh, I can't tell if it, it how was. How a taser works, you know? I can't tell if it was electrocuting him or if he cut Let's an electric back. cable and got shocked when he cut it. Uh, because, you know, like how a taser got wires, right? Yeah, because so, he did tase somebody, but it looked like well, it he looked, was. It, it was, it, was it in him? It looked like Nature he was holding a You can a see cable. the construction. But I don't know. It's an element of showing how to do it yourself. His version of Batman is. His tactical knife is actually oh. stored. It looks like it's an electrical wire. Yeah, play. it looks like exactly. he's cutting an electrical wire, and that's why he got shocked. And it's like, why, did, who, why are you holding on to a knife? It's an element of showing how to do it yourself. His version of Batman is. His tactical knife. Actually, yeah. why was he holding on to that though? That's what yeah. I'm trying to see. Hold on, well, we'll see. His tactical knife it was actually, well, whatever reason he was there, like because he was holding it. I don't know if, like, 
Yeah. He might have been falling and just needed to grab something. Yeah. Or he might have gotten wrapped up in it and had to cut it yeah. so he could, like, drop it So, down. and you got to, this is early Batman, so he going to get into some trouble. Yeah. That so, he can't. It's like it's one of those uh, John McClane moments. Why? How'd you get yourself into this shit? Yeah. <laughs> Talk to yourself. <laughs> but another thing I did notice in some of these clips, so he's not gliding with the cape. He's got an actual mm-hmm. wingsuit. What's that? At one time, but there's a couple scenes where oh, he's gliding, and instead yeah, yeah. of like gliding with the cape, he's got an actual wingsuit on. Yeah, over the kind the that you suit. spread the yeah. arms and through yeah. the. Uh, um, so like, which is you know, it's rudimentary, but also. He wouldn't have like the next level technology necessary to have like a cape that can become a glider, right? Which they kind of um, explain that in Batman Begins, but that was because it was like this super fabric that probably don't exist. <laughs> Act- actually, uh, some version of it. Does okay, let's say if it do exist, but let's just say you couldn't use it for he that. He don't though, have so. it, but like again, this <laughs> but that's not in this universe. But then man. again, like th- th- his Batman is very DIY at the moment, so it's like yeah, right. If he can't put it together in in a basement, he can't have it. Right. So and that's what the, and Batman begins. They cheated by giving him all this unproduced Wayne tech. Yeah. <laughs> like like just that that silver spoon was in that deep. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Right, but this is everything he made himself, which is yeah. kind of cool. I like it. And gonna be giving people ideas to be real vigilantes. <laughs> oh, I can make that myself. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you be dead in the day. Yeah. <laughs> What's the difference between me and you? <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't. <laughs> That's the first time you couldn't lick that one off, man. Uh, I'm not wearing hockey pads. In my throat. <laughs> I'm not wearing hockey pants. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, look, and that's the thing, man. We was gonna talk. We gonna talk about those uh, Christian Nolan movies, but Christian Bale just tried too hard, man. <laughs> he was doing too much, bro. Like the first one, <laughs> swear to me, it got okay. worse. Right, like, I'll, I'll, I'll give it you got that. worse every like, movie when, it, when it's just where's my trailer? <laughs> where's the drugs going? Where's the- <laughs> Where the drugs? <laughs> <laughs> What's he planning? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where's the drug planning? <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, man. So we we all collectively, everybody agreed that the, the bat voice was the problem. Hey, look, and then you get to the voice. third one, and you got the duel of voices. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rock, rock. Yeah, he's a trigger. What? Where is that dragon? You want to roll? We're going to stay on this movie. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, the uh, bad suit looks cool, but I got a problem. Yeah. So, now he said, the bullet's not bullet, the, uh, I'm sorry, the armor's not bulletproof. The I whole mean, suit isn't. Is right, just, he just got plates underneath. He's got a couple of panels that are bulletproof. Cool. Right. Cool. How are you walking into a machine gun fire Without no problem. Like, because that's the thing. <laughs> Bulletproof does not mean that that kinetic energy is Don't gone. mean, right, it don't, <laughs> exactly. Like, the you're impact, still hit. The impact is going to knock you at least off your feet or at fact, least off balance. Matter of fact, you're catching a harder hit because there's no penetration. Yeah. So, like, you should be getting picked up. Yeah. So, even though he don't, he don't die and, like you said, there's no penetration, he should get off balance or knocked off his feet. Well, like, they also show one clip of him getting shot at, and he's, like, you know, hunching up, trying to cover his face. Okay. And, right. like, you can see he feels the hits. Like, he's... That one scene... But the, the scene where he's where walking... Where he just walked into the gunfire. He's walking through the bullets. He's walking into the gunfire. Cool. Cool. Doing his cool, man, walk yeah. into the gunfire. and Not struggling at all. And not being affected by it. Which... Yeah. That can do a, a good a psychological effect on criminals. But how? I saw that. Right, exactly. <laughs> how, Sway? Unless, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, this. unless he had one gun had blanks in it. it. That would make sense if I wasn't seeing the sparks coming in. Oh, my, let me see that scene. Did they got that? No, I don't think that's on there. What if he, one of them was loaded with blanks and everybody's shooting, but the ones that he... That he <laughs> so, look, hold on. He make them think that he's bulletproof, but he's not. So he got a plant. Well, no, no, no. He, or did he replace the dude the didn't ammo? know. Dude didn't know he had blanks. So he replaced somebody's ammo. Yeah. If they did that though, 
I would that would be ingenious because I say that because it makes you look invincible when not actually being invincible. Give me, yeah. <laughs> But how yeah, would he know okay. that the person without the blanks ain't going to shoot him in the head? <laughs> it's like, yeah. no, that's a bit risky. Because it's that whole thing of, like, no one ever shoots Batman in the mouth. Right. But his mouth is always a clear target. It's like, okay, yeah, sure. Sometimes he's got the yellow bat on his chest, and so it's like, that's a clear target. Yeah. Okay. I can see his teeth. I'm shooting them. Right. But, <laughs> but the, it's just the whole thing. <clears throat> you walk in into this gunfire casually. Like, I've seen people react more strongly to walking into the rain. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, the suit the suit looks cool, but it's not invincible. It's some homemade stuff with plates in there. Uh, they say he can move, though. It's, it's very flexible. Yeah. So, and I looked at the legs. It's just, it. I saw the whole suit. They kind of got a, I don't know if they had like a, I don't know if this is at the premiere they got like the suits on display, the, the Catwoman suit and the Batman suit and the car. Okay. And they show like a close up on the suit and all that. And it don't look particularly invincible. It just looked like some tactical stuff. Yeah. And I'm looking like, yeah, the legs don't look like you could shoot them in a the leg and it definitely would. It's like I'd say maybe the gauntlets, the shoulders, and the chest plate. And then right. probably a He might have plate. some thigh pads on yeah. or something. But it's just. No way you can walk to gunfire like that and not like, catch one. Because, like, the kind of armor he has is, like, one lucky hit could end your life. Yeah, right, right, right. Because let alone sustained fire. To move fire. like that, you're going to have a lot of separation in that armor. Like, sustained fire from three different shooters, at least. They're going to have to explain that. So I hope they don't just try to do that without explaining that. Yeah. We'll see, though. Uh, but other than that, I ain't got no problems with nothing. The car is badass. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what the hell is the engine, what the hell kind of engine that is. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw I saw they did like a little um, a prequel thing. They got a, like a prequel novel. Hmm. He used to do street racing. Yeah. So he's been like. That looks more like some funny car shit. What you mean? Uh, it's a type of racing. They've got these uh, hot, like, I, I don't know what they're, they're burning, but like you'll see like flames and smoke coming out the back of them. Uh, They're like the really long cars they do uh, straight line races with. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. And you can't tell me he ain't got that shit at his house. Like, <laughs> It's just. So, that's the thing you was talking about? Yeah. Hold on, let's see. Little and so, he can definitely feel the bullets in that scene. Right. But not when he's walking straight. We'll through. see, though. Maybe that suit does not make him invincible. It's just a few. Right. So. We saw that right there. It affected him, yeah. which I'm cool with. Now, if he don't die, cool. Just like you shoot somebody with a uh, bulletproof vest on. Mm -hmm. But you notice in movies, they always either pass out or, or or fall. You know, fall yeah. out like damn, and they and they always hurt. But for some reason, they always take the vest off. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. Well, okay, there is actually a reason for that. Uh, well, I, I doesn't say it'd be hot. Well, no, uh, damaged plate. If you get shot in the same area, can drive the uh, fragmented plate into your chest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, if the shooting not done, I say keep the bitch on. <laughs> also fair. But no, um, yeah. Um, other than that, that was on my only issue when I saw. Oh, it's, just, it's a cool scene. Yeah. It's just you got to make it make sense though, you know. Yeah. Um, where she's like, you got Black Panther did the same thing, but but like vibranium. Well, we already know the idea of vibranium gating the the kinetic energy. Yeah, so right. So like, we know we know why. Yeah. You know, here it's supposed to be. Realistic like and Vibrator does not exist yeah. in the DC universe, he so we don't know Black why. Black Panther literally can't take, can't feel the bullets, so like he yeah. can walk through them. You know? Right, right, right. That's your excuse. Nah, you know what? They might, they ain't ready to bring that kind of level of comic book nonsense. Uh, nth metal, oh, yeah. which, which does whatever the writer wants it, wants it to do for the story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that's um, I love the car, I love the idea, and I, I love the. I love his gadgets are all homemade, though. Yeah. This actually look kind of cool. Well, like, it, it makes him a bit more respectable. Yeah. You know, where it's like, nah, I got to figure out how to do this. I need something that can do this. Let me let me go to the drawing board. Let me sketch it Right, because uh, in the games, the Wayne tech is, like, ridiculous. Yeah. I, it's like, it's, yeah. he's pretty much Iron Man. And it makes it that much <laughs> more ridiculous that no one knows he's Bruce Wayne. It's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, clearly Wayne Tech R&D has a leak 
or yeah. something. Because <laughs> yeah. Batman keeps showing up with stuff that matches stuff in their schematics. Yeah. But with yeah, a I mean, bat, it, it, look, but with a bat logo, right? I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's it's very um. Uh, how much? Is very how much tech. of that is him like just sneaking into factories and like, re, like changing the code on 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 some just enough that it puts a bat logo instead of a Wayne Tech logo. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> but no, uh, I don't know why it's called Batman get electrocuted. It really like, didn't. Yeah. It just kind of he caught some. He cut an electric. He yeah. cut an electric. Um, a uh, cord, I mean electric uh, wire. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, he cut. It was more more way. interesting to know that 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 his bat symbol was a, is actually Every, a knife. Everything else about this was so much more interesting than the part where he catches some sparks. <laughs> yeah, I know. And that's the thing they <laughs> named the video after. I know, but yeah, uh, that was kind of cool. That's a cool, uh, um, cooler concept. That mm. that's a knife. Um, it's utility belt. I'm, I'm curious to see how much usage that gets in the movie. Probably look if it, it it can catch you all. It could be like that last, you know what I'm saying, where yeah. you ain't got nothing and because like, pull, you don't know this is a knife. It is cool because like, it makes it that a little bit more uh, respectable that like he's beaten the the like this is supposed to be the gun that shot his parents, right? right. And it's like not just turning it into your shield, but also your sword, right? Utility knife. That's pretty yeah. cool. Uh, and which is make it makes sense to have somebody that's always. Um, um, always in his workshop, got all these gadgets and stuff because he's never doing nothing else but doing this. Yeah, uh, it's kind of remind you of a uh, Travis Bickle. A little. <laughs> it's like it's like he the taxi driver, yeah. in which he was kind of a bitch lady, you know. Yeah. What I'm saying? So not a good not a good role model to have though. No. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was a that was a cool little clip, man. See, uh, I'm, I'm, every time I see something, I like it. Every time I see it, so. Um, <clears throat> we'll see. It's coming out next week, so yep. um, stay. Uh, keep keep tuning in you so you can uh, see up. our review, and we'll be putting it up next week. So, all right, we're gonna wrap up. Anybody still watching? Thanks for checking out the video, and subscribe to the channel if you like our content, and uh, hit that bell icon so you get alerts. So, uh, so anytime we post new videos, all we live stream. And don't forget, if you like what you see in here today, hit that thumbs up down below. Drop us a like and drop us a comment, too. We'd love to hear from y'all. Yes, we are, y'all. Peace. Peace.